of them is yours. None shall interfere. Do as you please. So I've decided not to cover this story in the past, but I decided to put in the story because I wanted to talk about The Batman 2022, which was supposed to come out in 2021. It was supposed to come out this Christmas, but it's been delayed till next year. So The Batman 2022 starring Robin Patterson is pretty much looking like it's finished wrapping as cast members are putting images on their Instagram account and says, The Batman, you made it with Fuge Thanks Warner Bro. Essentially, I'll, I'll put some images over top. This is from Instagram. So it looks like production has wrapped principal photography. And yes, there will be additional reshoots for sure. So yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy here, Wall Street, aka The Nightmare, back with another video. So I've not spoke about this subject for such a long time because it got delayed and they were filming behind closed doors and there wasn't really anything to report. And they've not dropped a trailer for a very long time. So there hasn't really been a reason to talk about it. But I kept getting asked to cover this ludicrous subject. The drama of Robin Pattinson. Apparently, Robin Pattinson is actually a pretty cool dude. Pretty cool to work with on certain. He's very professional. I mean, if you've seen his work in Tenet and The Lighthouse, you would see outside of Twilight stuff, which he was still decent in Twilight, but it's probably not your generation or your genre, but he was still pretty good in Lighthouse and Tenet and other projects that he's done. There's been conspiracy theories and rumors on websites. Rumor! Robin Patterson drama continues to plague the set of the Batman. Did you hear the story about Zoe Kravetz? This is alleged and obviously it didn't happen, but I think it's quite a funny fluff piece to cover. It's apparently Robin Patterson and Zoe Kravetz were caught um, doing something on top of the Batmobile on set and he was caught by a bunch of staff members, workers. All right, like, like, let's just get into this nonsense. So according to a new, bear in mind, this movie's pretty much just wrapped in the last few days. According to new reports, things on the set of the Batman are only getting worse as star Robin Pattinson is a pain to work with. That pretty much counter reacts with everything that has been reported um, from Robin Pattinson and people working with him. Apparently he's pretty cool. So the rumors are coming from some YouTube personality, Dooms Cop, in his latest video. Sorry, I've never heard this YouTuber, but let's, let's just entertain this idea. So it says, we encourage you to take the following with a heavy grain of salt okay whenever a youtuber says heavy grain of salt it means they know it's pretty much not real but it could be but a source who allegedly spoke to the host at the center of the earth passed along that the patterson's behavior is going off the deep end last we heard of patterson he had reportedly struck up a relationship with zoe Kravetz. she's recently become single according to an alleged member of the film crew their connection was so intense that the two not only struck up a passionate rendezvous on the hood of the Batmobile. Yeah, I mean, can you just imagine if this was real? But in an incident mirroring recent comic run from Tom King, the actor also impregnated the Catwoman to his Dark Knight. This is really interesting. So it says, per Doomcock source, though the encounter is being denied by several parties and news outlets. Oh my God. So there's a supposed <laughs> this is like a fan cast, fan piece, isn't it? There's a supposed tape of the event, but Patterson apparently wasn't disciplined, but now thinks he can get away with anything, according to sources, Patterson is next to impossible to get on set at this stage. And when he's present, the star is reportedly visibly intoxicated. Okay, so he did think on the Batmobile and he turns up to set drunk. I don't get this. I mean, it's one thing if you don't like the actor, Robert Patterson, but just to say this kind of stuff is, uh, it's kind of funny. It really is. It's hurting the production as they were way behind schedule and Warner Bros. has taken to placing extra pressure on Matt Reeves to get it done. Um, what you gotta understand is the reason there's been no people talking about the Batman movie is because it's on a closed set in a studio. That's why no one get it out. The source further claimed that there was a Zoom session between Reeves and Warner Bros. higher ups and almost to send it into a shouting match. Uh, I mean, I know Warner Bros. is not the easiest company to work with based on how they've handled the Zack Snyder Justice League. But a shouting match? Really? Let's go on. Worse yet, if true, if she's truly pregnant, the crew and producers are afraid that Kravats will start to show. They've already finished shooting, but okay. And then it, and then it goes on to say that Doomcock commented that the Batman is looking less like a Batman movie, more like an episode of... I've got no idea what that show is, so it's kind of irrelevant. Though the source does not know for the child alleged is Patterson's. They do add that Kravitz supposedly claims it's his and seems they got along before the car. This is just ludicrous. Warner Brothers, I presume it means it says Warner, is reportedly sending reps to get things handled and under control as the cost of replacing Patterson is too much based on what's already been invested. They've literally finished principal photography as of the images from people that are working on set. They're not going to replace Roy Patterson. It will cost too much money. Even if this was true, which it isn't, they've pretty much finished shooting. Apparently 
Apparently, the studio has devoted a significant amount of time and money into digitizing Patterson so they can match his face in numerous shots with the stuntman. That's okay. That hence why stuntmen generally have to look like the actual actor. Now, this is just ludicrous. This isn't the first turn of events the Batman. You may recall Patterson admitted to not working out much in lockdown. He was trolling. A previous Doomcock scoop noted he still wasn't in shape after six months. Uh, actually, pictures kind of debunk this. So, yeah, he was in decent shape. Batman doesn't have to look like an absolute beast. So, yeah, that was kind of debunked. So, there's another story stroke theory I want to go over. It's from, you know, Screen Rant. He says, why the Joker can't appear in the Batman franchise? Should the Batman lead to a new franchise, the makers would be wise to exclude the Joker or only give him a small role. Well, according to recent leaks and reveals from trusted insiders, there is supposed to be a post credit scene in this movie where we do see the Joker in Arkham Asylum. But the narrative of this fluff piece from Screen Rant just literally says nothing. It literally says nothing. The Batman is taking the somewhat risky route of featuring multiple villains, including the Penguin, the Riddler, Catwoman, Calmone, Falcone, such a strategy has worked well for Batman feels like Batman Beyond, but helps sink misfire like Spider-Man 3. You can't compare Spider-Man to Batman. One Batman villain not to be included on this is the Joker, and as popular as he is, it's the best for this. In fact, the Batman should make a point of not featuring the crown prince of crime. No, the reason this movie shouldn't actually feature the Joker is because it's year one Batman, it's early year Batman, it's young detective Batman, so yeah, the Joker should be introduced in the second movie, and if it does get a franchise then I think the Joker should be included so this article doesn't really say anything else just going over the reason why Joker shouldn't but the fact that you know the random Joaquin Phoenix Joker popped a billion dollars kind of tells you something and the fact that you know we've got the Zack Snyder Gerard Leto Joker appearing new scenes new scene new scene nightmare scene the Joker is so formidable foe it's Batman's greatest villain arguably I mean there are other ones like Ra's al Ghul and stuff but yeah obviously the Joker is the most popular most well known one so yeah I would say the Joker post credit scene could be cool and it's a rumoured as well. So let me know guys. The Batman's finished shooting. Apparently Robert Pattinson is awful on set and he impregnated Zoe Kravetz. Allegedly fake news. So what do you think of this alleged fake rumour and should the Joker appear in this franchise at some point? Yeah I know this video has been a bit all over the place guys but I wanted to talk about this movie as there hasn't really been any news and they have wrapped it looks like it although it's not confirmed or verified. It doesn't need to be based on the images that set crew members are posting on their personal Instagram accounts. It looks like to me they have finished shooting this movie so like always guys please like subscribe and i will catch you but check us out on instagram first instagram at washju twitter washju g and i will catch you in another video very soon catch you later